We're also working in the alliance to strengthen the alliance's collective deterrence and defense. We're ramping up production. We're strengthening our defense industrial bases. We'll have new regional plans that will spell out how and what allies need to do and will do to protect every inch of NATO territory. And we're deepening cooperation between NATO and critical partners, the European Union, partners in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, and here, uh, just as allies uh, today were seized with the hybrid threat that has grown from Russia, um, they were also seized with China's support for Russia's defense industrial base. And as I've had occasion to discuss before, including in China, what we've seen from China is not the provision of weapons uh, to Russia, but the provision of critical inputs that have allowed Russia to uh, accelerate its own production of tanks, of missiles, of shells. 70% of the machine tools that Russia is currently importing are coming from China. 90% of the microelectronics that China is importing are coming from China. And I heard ally after ally today raise their deep concern about this. And it only made uh, even more clear to me what I shared with Chinese counterparts in, in Beijing. China cannot expect, on the one hand, to improve relations with the countries of Europe, while, on the other hand, fueling the biggest threat to European security since the end of the Cold War. None of us uh, are under any illusions about the challenges we face today and will continue to face in the days and months ahead.